A lot of repo users have been asking for it, and now it's finally here. Greetings everyone, if you're new to the channel, I'd love it if you subscribe and leave comments and questions uh, if you have them in the comment section below. A few days ago Reaper uh, got a new update and uh, finally it has the ARA extension or ARA working. If you're not familiar with uh, what ARA is, it stands for uh, Audio Random Access. A few plugins uses this uh, ARA. Uh, most notably uh, Melodyne and uh, Vocaline. What it allows you to do is uh, when you uh, insert it on the track, it automatically transfers uh, the data you need to uh, edit, especially with the uh, Melodyne. Whereas uh, before you would have to uh, click a transfer button and uh, play through the whole thing, and uh, then you can finally start editing. The main thing uh, we use it for is obviously vocals. And you can imagine uh, if you have eight or ten vocal tracks, uh, this is incredibly time consuming uh, doing it the old fashioned way. Right now, you'll see an example of uh, how little time this takes to accomplish using the new uh, Reaper version. And there you have it. What you can also do is so uh, when you have the plugin window open, once you're done editing, you can easily uh, go to the settings menu and export it as a MIDI track. This is, can be very handy for layering with the uh, VST instruments and uh, stuff like that. Another cool thing is uh, the plugin will now also uh, automatically import the tempo that you've set in your project file. A couple of things you do need to do uh, to get this working. Obviously you need the latest uh, Reaper version which is now on uh, 5.97 and you also need the latest Melodyne update which is 4.2 I believe. It's also incredibly important that you use the Melodyne VST3 plugin. The um, older formats uh, won't work for ARA2, which is the current version. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Give the video a thumbs up if you, if you like it. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.